So uh, I just wanted to update you, we are in the city currently, we went to take some pictures from my Instagram and now we're about to go and get some Starbucks to drink. We were thinking of going to like the Christmas market and drinking some wine or some punch but since, I don't know, it's pretty early, we thought we're, this is gonna take a lot longer, which it didn't, so we're just gonna go and take some coffee, finally. I, um, I froze because it was it was very cold. I mean, it, it is still very cold. I just had to take a picture in one coat and I didn't have it like properly on. I just have it like over my shoulders and it was <laughs> so cold, but I think the pictures are gonna look very good. So, you know, you have to sacrifice the warmth, I guess. currently propped on my pencils. I guess I finally um, found some use for them. So we just got back from the city and I haven't even introduced this vlog. We were out in the city taking pictures, as I said, very lame. But it was very beautiful actually, it was very cold. Got some Starbucks, which was amazing, honestly. I wanted to let you know that I'm about to start to breed a little princess. Um, isn't this cover stunning? So um, there's actually a lot of covers for this book and this is my favorite one. I picked it, it's just a basic penguin. It's floppy, I like um, floppy paperbacks. Do you hear this? For December I had uh, planned to read a lot of like cozy reads, uh, cozy books. I, I'm really in the mood for something like snowy, you know, like classics, something like that. So I bought a lot of books, but now it's like the middle of December and why am I starting to read them now? is because I had a test on Friday, so yesterday, and today is Saturday, and I could not uh, read, I mean, I actually did read quite a lot, like, in the time where, I'm, where I was supposed to be learning, so let's hope I pass it. Um, but yeah, uh, I couldn't focus on those, those books, I really wanted to give my time to these books, and I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna update you later. Cinnamon rolls, flour and sugar. Do you by any chance recognize where I am? We're getting book shots. Big ones. Let's go, Billy. It's in the house. It's gonna be good.
guys, these are the cutest towels ever. Hi guys, so I just wanted to give you a little update. I know I look horrendous. I just woke up and what can you do? This is how I look when I wake up. But yeah, so my boyfriend's parents actually came to stay with us for a couple of days and that's why you've been like seeing just the clips of Vienna and not me actually updating you because it's a bit hard for me to film in public, let alone with them, with us, you know, it's a bit uncomfortable. So I just kind of filmed some clips and I hope you liked it. Like, the Vienna is looking so beautiful now before the Christmas and I just wanted to show you. So yeah, now I'm currently, I mean, they've all gone out and i decided to stay today because i'm really tired from walking everywhere and I'm, I'm just like my body condition is horrible i cannot like i'm an old grandma so i walked for two days straight and before that i had to learn every day for an exam which i also had to go to so i stayed up all the nights very late and so this time i was like no <laughs> i'm staying home you know uh and i need to sleep just let me sleep so i just you know you can see on my face i just left and i have to like the house is a mess you know when you're like out all the time and just you know doing stuff and kind of things accumulate and uh the mess is driving me insane i want to clean everything now um so yeah i'm gonna clean everything and then sit and learn because i also have an exam in january and you know it's never too early to prepare so yeah that's what i'm gonna do while i wait to see them and i think we're gonna go to a christmas market again in the evening i'm not sure but i think we're gonna go to a new one so i'm gonna show you that one as well the one that i filmed you last night is the biggest one in vienna yeah, that's all next time you see me i swear i won't look this horrendous like I'm even ashamed to put this, but you know what? I, when I made this channel, I was like, no, you're just filming your life. You don't care. You're going to find two friends on there and they're going to watch it. And now I did. So hi, friends. Also building an Alex from Ikea for our um, books because we have a lot of not these books but the books um, in general like the school books and papers and stuff we need in like um, our bedroom so yeah that's that <laughs> and also I haven't shown you the rest I mean I haven't opened my calendar which I'm about to do now <gasps> okay so what date is it? I think today is 22nd and I haven't opened since God knows when. Let me just check everything. Okay, so the last one I opened was 19 and it was a candle. So let's do 20. Oh, it's here. It's great. It's a big one. What is this? We need 21, 21 is, oh right there, 
is this um body mousse oh it's also like a body cream that's cool so um i also forgot to update you last night i've started a new book it's called the castle in the clouds and a lot of people had it like on their what to read for winter videos so um I picked it up and and so far so good I, I read like four chapters only so i don't have a lot to tell you but the settings there it's somewhere in the swiss mountains so full of snow so yeah uh, i can also guess that there is like a creepy mystery coming up because there is something that um is happening that i find a bit creepy um so yeah but i'll give you more updates when i listen more which is gonna be now because I'm about to wash the dishes and put my headphones in. So, yeah. So we're off to the Christmas markets, guys. I'm gonna film you again. I'm wearing a duvet. Hi. Bye. <laughs> Waiting for churros. We actually changed location, we came to my favorite. Yes. Uh, we just got back from being outside and um, I froze to death honestly this is not me alive this is me dead I'm frozen you can see my cheeks <sighs> I haven't read a single thing which is fine you know it's all right it's like I don't know my boyfriend's parents are here we're just going out all the time you know visiting the new places but I'm showing you everything so I hope that's fine when they leave I'm uh, planning to continue on reading the castle in the clouds and the little princess which i still am yet to start but that's fine because i'm having a good time and i don't care um it's very nice outside in the city it's very christmasy see there is no bookshelf behind me because we uh, actually took our old one because we got the new one we got the billy something something and this one is um 236 centimeters long which is huge because our ceilings are and uh any like smaller one just looks silly in here because it, it comes like to half of our wall so yeah this is I'm gonna the... i mean it's still not finished it's very high and it's a lot larger and wider than the other one so i can't wait to fix everything up so we're just waiting for the guy to just come and fix it to the wall and yeah after that i'm gonna be able to put all the books on it and stuff. Actually, how I got the time to film even this for you, it's because they went to the store and I decided to go uh, home earlier so that I can film a clip for you because we're always together and I really don't have any time. But yeah, I'm very excited. I'm having the best time. Vienna is very good. Uh, it's very Christmassy and very like cozy. We've been going to a lot of cafes, drinking a lot of coffees, you know, cappuccinos, as I've shown you previously. And also, I'm very happy about that. So, um, yeah, I'm very tired. As you can see, I have to go and tie my hair. Yeah, wait for them to come back and probably, you know, make some coffee again and, you know, enjoy the last night with them together and 
yeah just finished reading a castle in the clouds and i'm about to start reading a little princess one to be opened is 24 second oh god and it's a hand cream i think oh wow it looks beautiful so that's it that's the last one i think i can open all of them now and i mean take them all out and we'll see what they have these are all the things i've got guys there is many of them um, I'm just gonna go like this so that you can see this is also nice cherry blossom soap oh and this is the scrub that goes with it some candles shower gel what is this? again another shower gel Bath oil, body mist, body mist, mousse, shampoo, lotion, and nourishing conditioner. I think this is my favorite one, <laughs> the last one. I think it's the prettiest. And also, I love all the candles. They smell good. I mean, but I, yeah, I cannot wait to try the rest of the things. So, yeah, so happy. reading the little princess and i'm gonna update you uh, on my feelings and thoughts later but i think you can guess how i felt i mean it was amazing so um yeah sadly i finished it and now i have one more book to reach my goodreads goal and i don't know which one to choose i have here my christmas ebooks that i chose um for the december and here i have the penguin book of Sto christmas stories which is very sweet. I love the, these editions, but the Penguin Cloth Band Classics. So I have that one. And I have A Christmas Carol um, and other writings. So um, there, there are pictures in this one. So yeah, I have that one. Also has a beautiful spine. Um, I just hate that these <laughs> don't match. I don't know why they did that. Like, they don't match in height, but maybe even that's cute because the other one can peek out. <laughs> um, I also have One Day in December. It's a romance. Uh, for some strange reason, I also like this edition because, I don't know, uh, I think it's very simplistic. It's not like overly Christmassy, you know. It's still uh, monochromatic. It's just white with this beautiful illustration and only the letters are in color. So, but I'm not in the mood for romance, like I'm burnt out. I read like um, the one that I read in my last vlog. It happened one summer and I just, and also what I have is The Enchanted Sonata. And yeah, this book is stunning. Um, I don't, whenever I saw it in a video of like somebody showing it, I never realized how stunning it is in like, you cannot even see it on my video. But in person, this book feels so such good quality and heavy. And the paper is very beautiful quality. So, yeah. This is the retelling of The Nutcracker, which I cannot wait to read. So, yeah. But I think for now, I'm... Maybe it's smart to finish my Goodreads goal with a, you know, Christmassy book. And I've never read A Christmas Carol, which I'm very, very excited to read. So, hmm. Maybe I want to read The Christmas Carol, you know. It's the end of the year, the Christmas has been yesterday and I haven't read it before the Christmas so maybe today I can catch up on it and read. So I'm gonna update you later when I actually finish it. So let's do this. Well I actually finished A Christmas Carol as well. 
What are we doing? I just got home. I have a million things on me because it's so cold outside. Oh shit. Let me um make myself more comfortable and I'm gonna talk to you. We don't have a problem, you have a problem, okay? okay let's find you a place to stay. Well, let's wrap this vlog up. Uh this week I have read A Little Princess. So a little princess. This is a very beautiful classic. If you want a story that's gonna give you the similar feelings to Little Woman, if you have read Little Woman, you know what I'm talking about. This is a very heartwarming story. I don't know if Cinderella was inspired by this or this by Cinderella or whatever. I should have checked maybe before coming on here. I just know that this gives me the similar vibe. If you have ever seen the Cinderella movie, this is the same story. How do I summarize this? So this is about a little girl who is very rich and she's sent to live in this uh, boarding school or like school for little girls. And unfortunately, some things happen and she loses her fortune. And it is how, um, about how those people um, who have so far treated her right now treat her differently uh, because of that fact and how she deals with that. And... Um, it's very beautiful if you have ever seen um i have a few movies in my life that when i watch them i just feel like i want to be a better person i don't know it's weird like every time i watch cinderella that movie it just makes me want to just be good and be patient if you have seen that movie you know what i'm talking about this book gives me the same feelings and now from this day on i'm gonna i mean from this year on i'm gonna reread it every year because i sometimes let my emotions get the better of me and when i should be more calm i kind of tend to give in to those um, feelings and this book really focuses on that so how to um kill him with kindness you know as they say so um how to try and be the best person ever even when the people don't deserve it just because it's gonna feel so much better in the end for you so this is five million stars very beautiful story very touching um, a little princess it's just she's just so motivating she's just so precious and i've learned so much from her and i hope that every year when i pick this book up again i will learn something again so yeah that was that the next book that i have read is a christmas carol by charles dickens and what can i say about christmas carol so, about being grateful about treating people right I don't know, I think in December, it's my birth month, it's the holidays. Uh, at the end of the year, I like to be reminded of how I should go into the new year, you know. Everything that I might have forgotten throughout this year, I want to be reminded of. I want to try and go into this new year and keep being a good person. So, um, yeah, it's really beautiful. I love all the ghosts of Christmas past, present and future. It was very touching as well like the previous one but i guess in december i really like to pick up those books and this is this was my first time reading um a christmas carol i know i mean i know the story i have seen like cartoons and movies throughout my whole life the barbie cartoon was one of my favorites um i'm still i'm planning on watching that as well and this copy i mean i just got it in december it's stunning this is the penguin cloth band classic so also last night i wanted to let you know that i've started spinning silver i've planned i plan to start this let me turn i plan to start um this um the penguin book of christmas stories but i chose instead to start spinning silver by naomi novik because i've heard also it, i think it was my one of my friends katarina's one of her favorite books like i think when she started the booktube channel she spoke about it like i had a problem about starting that one because i am um, there there is a book by naomi novik um that i have i have read before i don't remember the name i don't know it was about a dragon and a something it was whatever that book i hate it so uh i think naomi novik has like two books that are very it's not like if she has written deadly education it's not that one it's the other one so if you know the name just write down i mean i'm gonna check in goodreads anyway but yeah or i'm gonna write here somewhere so that you know i love how it started it started really amazing i like um fairy tale-esque like story and that one was it and it was really promising that it's gonna deliver but the more i um kept reading the more i hated it and i think that book scarred me for like some 
words that I can never read again. I just get the cringe from them. So, um, yeah. Uh, but this one I started last night and oh my God, <laughs> I hope it continues in this way because I love it. I'm enjoying it so much. The snow setting, the like cold wind, like rough winter. And it's amazing. It's just what I wanted to read this December. And I'm so happy I picked it up. I picked it up on audio. I Because I was actually ordered it on Amazon, but my copy hasn't arrived yet. But it, anyways, if I end up, end up loving it, I want to have a copy anyhow. So yeah, I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed the first uh, six or seven uh, chapters that I've read so far. I'm not sure. The first chapters I loved so yeah that's it so i read two of these books also one important thing with the christmas carol last night i have reached my goodreads goal for this year and i'm very proud of myself i mean i read 50 books this year that was my goal i know it's not big and it's not a huge number which you are probably used to seeing here on booktube but it's a huge number for me i've never read 50 books in a year i always read but not that many and i'm gonna also finish probably some more because I have a few days left also. So with this vlog and this beautiful, beautiful story, I have reached 50 books this year. Hopefully next year I'm going to read even 70. Who knows? Yeah, uh, that's all I had to say. Um, I'm going to update you about the spinning silver in my next vlog, which I'm going to start after this one. So.